Hi, my name is Hank Ayers and I'm with GPM Hydraulic Consulting, the leader in hydraulic training, troubleshooting, and reliability assessments. Today I'd like to talk about checking the coil on a solenoid operated directional valve to determine if the coil is good. And we're, to do that, we're going to use this digital multimeter and we're going to set it on our 2000 ohm scale. And normally we're going to find one of these coils is going to be somewhere between 0 and 50 ohms, but not 0. If it's 0, that means the coil shorted. Now on your valve, then you'll see this valve has two coils. Each coil will have three pins. One of the pins will be a flat pin. Now that's typically connected to the earth ground. Normally you'll be able to connect that to the body of the valve and you'll get zero ohms. There'll also be two pins on there. If you look at the cross section of them, it'll have kind of a U shape. Those are the actual coil pins. So in order to check these, we're going to, just going to check across these two pins with the U-shape and you see we get 33 ohms on this one. Now the coil resistance can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, but what you're really looking for is to make sure that you don't have zero ohms. If you have zero ohms, that means your coil is shorted. If your meter shows infinity, that means your coil is open and you have a broken wire inside your coil somewhere. Now if you do have a bad coil, very, very easy to change them. Most manufacturers, you just pull off a little retainer nut, slide your old coil off, get a new coil, put it back on, replace your retainer nut, and then your valve should be fully operational again. If you found this tip helpful, please visit our website at www gpmhydraulic.com for more helpful tips and to learn about our two-part hydraulic troubleshooting program.